Okay, at this time, I'd like to introduce all the way from Moloka'i Nui Ahina, dear friend of mine, a hunter, fisherman, activist, community leader, known as the Paniolo Prince sometimes, a poet, Hano Hano Naeho. Mahalo. Nice to know everybody's still here. I am the brother of Kami Vehilani Naehu. My name is Guy Hanohano Naehu. Can you guys hear me out there? Well, hear me raw, because we're about ready for light up the darkness. I've come here today to give you a report of what's happening on my moku, on Moloka'i, and to put it in context. I must tell you first and thank the Wahines in this building, on these islands, on the planet, throughout the galaxy. You Wahine, you guys have meant so much to our aina, to our place, to our stories. I thank you, each and every one of you, love you. When I first put my eyes, laid my eyes on my mama, I knew I loved her. When I first heard my grandma's voice, I knew I would protect her with my life. When I took my vows to my wife, I promised I would stay with her forever and defend her with all of my ability. And then when I saw my baby daughter being born again, that rejuvenated my commitment to the life-giving force that we call Wahine. And again, just like all of you life givers, I, lo I owe my allegiance to this Aina. This Aina is our mama. This Aina is a life giving force. This Aina is what we need to get to protect, to malama, to defend with our ability, our skills, our energy, and our souls. Saying that, I'll like talk about something that's a little bit uncomfortable. I'll like talk about rape. There's this doctor, Daryl Wong. Dr. Daryl Wong. Know the name. He's been coming to Moloka'i for years and raping our resources. He's been taking thousands and thousands of pounds of reef fish, uhu, kumu, everything that we value on Moloka'i, he's been stealing from our icebox. And yet, the brothers that took the fish back is now in court being accused of being the thieves. Again, this is Aole Pono. I needed to share that with you guys because these brothers are heroes in our eyes. They defending the ice box, they defending their natural resources. So I like say his name again, Dr. Daryl Wong, a resource rapist. I like to bring another issue that is affecting our island. Monsanto and Micah J. They too are resource rapist okay know the truth these guys are using 10 million gallons of water on crops that none of us can eat they spray poisons and pesticides on our aina every single day this poison never disappears it's stuck on our soil in our aquifer in our wind in our clouds, our atmosphere, and now in our women and children. Resource rapist. Mauna Kea. What are they doing on our special sacred mountain? 
This is a Molokai issue because if they can do this to that mountain, they can do them to any mountain. Again, what are they? Resource rapists. Why I'm bringing, up, bringing this up and saying it over and over is because in this building, they say, if you watch the rape happen, you are also guilty of the crime. So David Ike, all of you politicians, if you hear this, if you allow this to happen, if you let this happen, you yourself will be a resource rapist. And I think that also leads us to the biggest resource rapist, the gorilla in the room. We've been talking about this today a while. If we had our kingdom back, there would not be this, these problems. So I'd like to uh, give you guys a little hope. I learned this from Walter Reedy. He said, there's the head of sovereignty, which we've been talking about today. And we've seen a lot of our leaders come up here and talk about the head of sovereignty. I humbly represent the feet of sovereignty. On Molokai, we have the Ahakiole, where every Ahupua'a has a representative and are responsible for the health and welfare of their peace, their Ahupua'a. And I can tell you guys with joy in my heart that it's working right now. We're running them, it's happening. And I feel this year is a turning point. It's a game changing year. Paradigm has shifted. Everybody knows about the kingdom. Everybody knows about what Kamala Opono wrote to the Secretary of State. Everybody knows that we have options, all the different sovereign options. So to you and each and every one of you that is still in the crowd today, I do not want to come here to grumble or to blame our politicians. I would encourage each and every one of us to try a little bit harder. To try a little bit harder and let another person, more people know ab about what is Pono. Today, we start on this pursuit of Pono. There is a lot of blame, there is a lot of piliki and a lot of heva that has happened. But today, if you look around, you look the kids, you look the timing, you look the landscape, I've never seen a more perfect time to go pick opihi right that's our term time is now the window is open we must get together stand together lean on each other and go protect our aina so again before i start stop speaking i just wanted to let you guys know that molokai is aina momona Molokai is a place where we can grow food. And Molokai also is a place where we could use some kokua. And in that, I thank you for listening. Thank you for coming over here today. And thank you for being Aina warriors. Aloha.